Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to show you some updates real quick. This isn't today's video, of course, but I just, it's like an extra. Oh, what is that? Why? That's the wrong icon for OBS. Whatever. We'll fix it later. Okay. First things first. Um, I need to make sure all audio is muted. Good. And I'm going to hit play. We have notifications if they ever decide to show up. Of course you decided not to show up. Come on, seriously. There's again. There they are. And it's cut off. <sighs> I swear to God, the world is trying to test me right now. Anyway, in a normal song, they look great. They're simple, they're simplistic, they're nice. Yay. Uh, we have a power menu to adjust for balanced performance, power save, the lamest thing ever. It's not going to be the final position for it, but then we need to talk about the settings. The settings are the most important. As you can see, everything has been scaled up a little bit and with proper spacing to be able to show you what's going on. The Wi-Fi on my motherboard magically started working, thankfully. That was really weird, by the way, because... I was being forced to test Wi-Fi with this, and that actually comes in handy very well. All right, so Bluetooth, good. Networking, uh, great. Look at that. We have extra Wi-Fi stuff here, just in case you need it. And then we have settings here. I need to adjust the radio buttons and the type. It just, there's some work that needs to be done. But yeah, here's your power menu. Here's your advanced power menu. I did fix these radio buttons here. And as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff here as well. So great. I'm trying to fill it out. Hopefully it's working. Uh, nothing in here, nothing in here, nothing in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, a lot. See all of this, this actually works. So as you can see, it's changing the size of the dock and everything like that. We're going to put it back down to 48. The spacing is a bit weird. I could do that. I could do that, but for some reason, I need to be able to pull it down farther. It's this isn't right. This doesn't look right at all. This doesn't. I think it has something to do with the whole active indicator thing. And then you got bordered width. So here you go. You can see it's inner width. It's not like outer width or anything. And then there's the dock radius. So we can make you like completely square all the way up to completely round. It stops going to fully round at around 30. Five ish but I did up to 60 just in case now this this part's really really complicated because watch this this makes no sense this is pure alpha which is really weird and I mean that in the greatest sense of the word where like if we just pull all this up this is supposed to be red but it's alpha and this is also supposed to be um yeah, it's really, really weird. I don't know how to explain it, but the alpha is red and the red is alpha. I need them to switch places and eventually I'll figure out how to make that happen. But again, it's the thought that counts. Oh, we could turn off the bar, by the way. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. We could dim the panels and undim the panels. Uh, again, same thing here. For some reason, this is the alpha. And this does actually adjust colors. <laughs> and here's your blue. And then adjust the blue here. And now we have that going on. And if we want it to. Like, it's really, really strange. But the sizing and everything works. Watch this. Who wants a panel? Like, we can actually reduce this down to almost nothing. The only issue here with the reducing of the size and stuff is that the clock does not change size. Now, I might consider working on that, but I kind of want that in its own section. But as it is a part of the bar, I think I'm going to have to add it here. Now, this doesn't make any sense that it's called task icon size, but I was half asleep when I did this. So, yeah, look, we can make it super tiny or... We can make it super big. 
but I'm just going to leave it at 24. Ooh, this one's fun. Look how professional and clean this looks. So there we go. Set logo. Done. Right? Right. And then we can go in here and we can fiddle with the color. Eh? How nifty is that? But really, I'm just going to have this be white. I did that mostly for people who like to do the whole thing. Now, I completely redid the wallpaper section. Actually, I don't think I ever showed you the previous wallpaper section, but I redid it. And that's the thought that counts. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff here in terms of transition type. I usually set it to random and there's resize modes, right? Just set to no. You can adjust the transition FPS to 60 to 120, whatever, and the duration of it. So 1.1 seconds, so on and so forth. Okay. Library is pretty simple. You set the path here and then it will search in that path. There's an issue though. I'm not sure if it's still an issue. Yes, it is. So yeah, you can't actually interact with it at the moment. I'm going to need to build my own file manager for that. Can we type? We can type. So there you go. Problem solved. Uh, this is not finished yet. And the reason I'm including this, okay, the reason, the whole reason is because Bing has awesome wallpapers. Okay. Now this is going to be a work in progress. This is currently a work in progress. This doesn't exist. There you go. So yes, uh, lots of work has been done. Lots of more work will be done. This is staying on the dock. I actually like this and look, it rotates when you just sit on it. Isn't that cool? Like it. Nice. And still we have no sidebars. My plan is to integrate as much in here as possible. And then for here, uh, somewhere on here, I want to have a button that will show your notifications. Uh, that would be great. I think that would be really good. What do y'all think? What do you think of the progress so far? It's all basically being blocked out first. Functions need to work. And then we can continue to work on how things are. Because there's lots of people that don't understand the way the process for development works. It's not always have things look pretty and correct and working. No, you block it out and make sure it works. Then you make sure it looks pretty. Okay, that's how that works. Because Wi-Fi at the top, people have a problem with Wi-Fi at the top. Wi-Fi is one of the most connected things on a phone, on a tablet, and also on a computer for some strange reason, laptops included. So, I mean, it makes kind of sense that it's up top. But what else would be there? Bluetooth? No. I mean, it could be anywhere, really. But I would prefer if it's at top because then people are able to find it easier. And eventually I'm going to allow you to change this to your own. Oh man, it, it shrunk. It was. My, my code should be very read readable. You should have no issues understanding it. I got to fix that. Uh, but yeah, there it is. It's coming along nicely. And uh, I think I'm going to add system. And I'm going to add time, languages, and a bunch of whole like user like I did last time and make it look all nice and functional. I'm gonna do the best I can, but for right now, yeah, it's working out pretty well. Uh, another thing is, look at that. It now goes above the dock. Isn't that nice? I am gonna make it transparent like the rest of everything else because I, that seems to be a thing for me and just having this random thing here not being transparent is weird, so I might do that as well. But there you go. Progress, lots of progress has been made. Bye.